Folks, in today's video, I will be demonstrating how to use the simple direct media layer 2. What you're seeing on screen is the animation. Let me go ahead and open up the .png file for the archer jump and fall. In my assets folder, I've got the various PNG files. Let me open this one. So it's got all the different frames that we want to animate. So I will go ahead and now demonstrate another .c file. Let's go with the Archer Death Strip. Let me stop the build. Update the CMake file and build. The executable has now come up. Let me show that. The Archer Death Strip is now being animated. Let's go ahead and build another one. Run Strip. Let me build it. It's given an error. Let me just fix that up. There we go. Beautiful animation. Let me stop that. Let me bring up another one, which is the Arch Neely. I've gone ahead and done the build. Let me bring it onto the screen. There we go. Beautiful animation right over there. Let's go ahead and build another one. Let's do the idle strip. The build has gone through. Let me bring it onto screen. And there we go. The archer is now showing the idle animation. Let me build one more. The pack strip. The build has gone through beautifully. Let me bring this one up. The archer is now going to pull the arrow and shoot it. So archer attack strip right over there. Let's see if there's any more for us to demonstrate. Let's do the dash, which is the final one. The build has gone through. Let me bring that up onto the screen. And here we have the Archer Dash animation coming up. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the code that's been put together for this demonstration. Just for our benefit, I've set up my assets folder. I've got the different .png files, one separate folder with no background color, as you can see, and one with the background color just for our demo next what i've done is i've gone ahead and built the dot c files separate dot c files for each of the different pngs so let's look at the archer attack strip let me bring up the code so we can all see it together so i've gone ahead and done my sdl dot header files both the sdl core and the image has been pulled together I've set up the different widths and height. Also, for each of the different frames, there's a count and the animation speed. Let's move into our uh, core main function. First, I will initialize the SDL. If that fails, throw the error. Then I will initialize the SDL image. If that fails, go ahead and capture the error. After that, we're going to create the SDL window object. If that fails, uh, you must get the error code and then display what error occurred. After that, we're going to create the SDL create render object. Again, the concept here is to uh, catch the error. After that, we're going to call in the .png file by using the image load texture function 
here you can see I've given it a path directly to the C folder right over there moving along if that sprite sheet object does not uh, get um, loaded then go ahead and catch the error and then display the error message next i'm going to initialize the different frame objects i'm using the concept to split the height and the width while loop has been also put together to start showing the events that will come through in terms of my keyboard so i've also added code so that the keyboard arrow keys are being captured but we will come back to that in a different video moving along we must create the sdl render clear and the render copy functions we put an sdl delay of 10 milliseconds and at the end once everything has been executed destroy all the objects by destroying the texture destroy the renderer window and then finally call the image quit and sdl quit functions so i hope this has been of some benefit furthermore let's have a quick look at the S uh, the cmake file so i'll just bring that up on screen from my cmake list i'm using the 3.29 version this project has been called game sprite i'm using a c coding standard version of 11 here i'm going to set the path for the sdl2 sdl ttf and the sdl image installation so i've already set up the sdl folders within the c drive in a folder called sdl2 x86 64 then i've set up a different folder for the true type font and one for the image directory i'll then call the find sdl2 package after that i must include the various headers for the true type font which i have not shown in this demo i have used the sdl image headers and then finally i will call the add executable and end it off with the target link libraries apart from that anybody that needs to know i've also uh, pulled in the dot dll file into my build folder as i'm showing over here so i've got the sdl2 underscore ttf sdl2 dot dll image dot dll and the sdl2 ttf dot dll files so i hope this has been enjoyable for everyone to watch let me bring up my beautiful animation and there you go thank you so much for joining please have a great day wishing you success wishing you happiness and wishing you joy